order? Yeah, um, do you guys still have Pokemon cards? No. What? What the fuck? No more Pokemon cards? Nope. Uh, that's a shame. Hi, may I take your order? Yeah, uh, do you guys still have the Pokemon cards by any chance? Yeah. Nice. Okay, um, I'll take, uh, one Happy Meal. How many Pokemon packs can I possibly buy? Five. Okay, I'll buy the, uh, extra five. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So guys, as you probably all know by now, McDonald's has recently teamed up with Pokemon to give us their 25th anniversary McDonald's set. Now, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I managed to get myself a Happy Meal, which comes with one pack. And then that McDonald's also allowed me to get five more packs. It is unfortunate, before it was 10, but in the end, we still got 16 to open because your boy, you know, came prepared with some extra packs. So guys, in this set, all the starter Pokemon can be found. And they all can be holographic. Some of the art is reused artwork, some of it is not. But they all look pretty good. And what makes them unique is that cute little 25th anniversary Pikachu stamp on the bottom right hand corner of the card art. The holofoil on these cards is just slightly different from your normal, you know, holographic cards that you'd get out of the normal pack, which ultimately gives them their unique appearance. Guys, with all the starters in the set, Pikachu's here, of course. And Pikachu is also fetching the highest price out of all these cards. Um, I'm seeing ridiculous prices like 10 grand here and there. I'm seeing, uh, you know, like $500 for a non holographic. It's, it's pretty crazy what people are trying to do with these cards. What's also neat, guys, is that this 25th anniversary set isn't the only set that McDonald's has done with Pokemon. There's been about 10 other sets since this one. And it all started with the McDonald's 2002 E-Series packs, which featured the Nintendo E-Reader cards. You know, the, the ones with the, the big E and the barcode on them. game is inside the cards. New e-reader for Game Boy Advance. Slide the cards to play some of your favorite games. E-reader comes with a classic game and a sample pack. More games sold separately. Reading E for everyone. There are also some really, really expensive promos with these cards, like the Umbreon chilling on the roof. That card is epic. And it's a promo version of this one right here. But after 2002, I don't think they did much more until 2011 when they came out with the McDonald's Pokemon collection set and they've been doing that up until 2019 so a couple years and in the last two 2018 and 2019 France got exclusive cards yeah they got 40 different cards in both of those years which is crazy they, they got lucky with that one and before we get into the pack opening I'm gonna, I need to destroy this Happy Meal real quick. Okay guys, so before we even get into this video and open up our 16 packs of Pokemon cards from McDonald's, we got some mail! Yeah, I got something in the mail, which is pretty neat. Um, but I also bought some other stuff, like this sick ass Ishigeki single strike playmat looks absolutely incredible. You got Tyranitar, Mawile, you got the scroll right down there, you got the single strike Urshifu Primeape, Lycanroc, Nightform, and the Hound Doom looking good as always. Wish it was shiny. Oh, there's a far sir fetched up there too. Far fetched, my bad. But yeah, pretty sick mat. And your boy got his first two graded cards. First two graded cards, guys. Can you guess what they are? You probably, if you saw the Instagram, you already know what they are. But it's Cramorant, of course. We got a Cramorant. PSA or a CGC 9.5. Not too bad. Um, I had to get it though. It was my first eBay win, which was awesome. My first eBay win. Then we also have this bad boy. Another Cramorant, of course, but that's a PSA 10 up there. Oh, PSA 10. I was very happy to add this to the collection. My first PSA cards, guys. This is incredible. My, I just started collecting again, and I'm really getting into it. I'm really enjoying it. And 
And uh, I also got, um, see this little cram ramp back here? Look how neat that is. Oh. You got a little Pikachu. Which is sick. So yeah, we got some mail, guys. I'm gonna bust this bad boy right open. Oh, look at that, guys. Check that out. The person I bought this from gave me a Rowlet McDonald's card. How wonderful. McDonald's? McDonald's? McDonald's! Rowlet card, which is sick. And let's see what else we got. Oh boy, here it is. Oh, this is nice. Another eBay win right here, guys. Look at that! A PSA 10 Shiny Grim Snarl. From Shiny Star V, of course. You know, Grim Snarl looks absolutely insane. And as a PSA 10 Shiny Star V, uh, this card looks fantastic. Oh, and don't forget about this. Uh, you get a bag of cereal right now. Uh, what is it? Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Uh, you get a pack of Pokemon cards. So we're going to be opening that too. So yeah, guys, let's just jump right into this. No, not gonna be a crazy video, but we're looking to get more Pikachus. The only reason I have that Pikachu unboxed right there is because my girlfriend Casey wanted to open up a pack, and I told her, okay, you can open one, just don't pull the Pikachu. And what does she do? She pulls the Pikachu. And I wasn't recording it. We have the Pikachu already, which is a fetch card. So we're gonna pop this open. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, another Pikachu, a Meowth, a Galarian, and a Cuffin. Okay, we I, are you guaranteed this Pikachu, or are there more? Oh, the, the symbols on the other side. Maybe, oh man. Does so I'm gonna have to start getting these? Look at the hollowing on that. Do you see the sparkles? It looks crazy. So we got 16 packs. Um, they're not very, uh, they're made out of paper. These, this wrapping is paper. Okay, we got a Froakie, guys. First pack, we got a Froakie. Wow, I love the hollows. They look so good. Okay, we got a Bulbasaur. We got a Chikorita Torchic. All right. Not bad. Ooh, baby, a Piplup. Got a Piplup. There we go. Got a Charmander, a Poplio, and a Turtwig. All right, okay. Okay. Can we get another Pikachu? There we go, a Tepig, baby. Uh, Tepig's probably my least favorite starter. Um, no offense to those Tepig lovers out there. I really, I just don't like it. Next pack. I'm trying to open it the right way. I was going to keep these sealed, but I had new video ideas that I wanted to try out, so. Yeah, so we got a Charmander, baby. We got a Poplio, we got a Chimchar, and a Sobble. Okay, no doubles so far, no doubles. Remember, we even got the Rowlet. From the guy who gave me my Grim Snarl that I had won an auction. So we got a Rowlet too. So we got five so far. Not looking for them doubles unless it's a Pikachu. Okay, baby, we got a Torchic. There we go. Torchic. I like that art. Torchic. Uh, I'm actually not a big Fire Starter um, fan. Never really enjoyed the Fire Starters. Yeah, it was always Bulbasaur, Blastoise, or just any other generation after that. It was always grass or water types. But we had a Snivy right there, which was cool. Snivy, still no doubles. Okay, our first double, we got a Rowlet. But technically, it's not a double, because I already didn't pull it in my, with my own hands. So we got a Rowlet in the other three. I like the Mudkip one a lot. I really want that. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's starting. We got doubles already. We got a Sobble. And these three. The Squirtle looks good, too. I really want that. Yes, baby! We got the Pikachu again! Oh, man. Pikachu, um... Doesn't look too scuffed up. I guess. Uh, maybe he's in good condition. Pikachu, we'll sleep that up. Right when this video's over, you know. I saw somebody posted one for, like, ten grand. Um, got a Piplup. Excuse me, McDonald's hit me. Uh, those three. Ooh, a Litten. Actually, I will, guys, I will say Litten is probably one of the coolest 
starters out there, even though I just said I don't like fire types, but Incineroar, hell yeah. Incineroar and Smash, hell yeah. Through the front. You guys play Smash, let me know what your, who your mains are. I mean, uh, Cyndaquil, baby. Yeah, I mean, um, Piranha Plant, pretty much. But I do play a mean Incineroar game sometimes. Incineroar's kind of hard. But I'm nasty with Piranha Plant. And speaking of grass types, we have a Snivy. That made no sense, and I just said it. Whatever. No. Alright, baby, we got another Torchic, so that's cool. Getting some doubles here. We're down to the last two packs. Oh, a Turtwig. Oh, I love, I love that art. He's so small. And there's just so much more art. Or, you know, sparkles. Okay. Turtwig. And a Turtwig. Sick. Look at that. Good old Turtwig. That's pretty neat. Thanks, guys, for joining me today. Um, uh, I don't know what to expect of this video because I'm trying new things out right now. Um, so hopefully this video might be a little bit of a work of art or it's just going to suck. But we'll see what happens. Guys, like and subscribe if you like what you saw here. Um, you know, not the, you know, not crazy pools today. We're not getting any Charizards because, you know, it's just McDonald's packs. But just remember, Shining Fates is almost here. It's a couple more days. So your boy Evan's going to have that. And a video out on Friday for it. So yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, peace. Have boys out. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys.